Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a video that I'm super excited about. So typically when you start your Optivia journey, you're going to find a couple of things that you aren't particularly fond of. That's okay. And so today I'm going to be bringing you five of my top feeling hacks for things that I didn't love towards the beginning. I had a lot of shakes. Now I really liked the shakes, but I got tired of drinking shakes. I felt like I really wasn't eating as much as I wanted to be. So um, if you haven't heard of the shake cake fueling hack, this is definitely going to be one of your favorites. So I picked the strawberry shake. You can do this with any shake, vanilla, chocolate, dark chocolate covered cherry, mocha, whichever shake you'd like to use. I'm just gonna take one packet of this and it's going to make two shake cake muffins or shake cake cupcakes. So before you start, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pour this into a bowl. Then I'm going to add a little pinch of baking powder. Then I will add two tablespoons of egg beaters or egg whites. Lastly, I'm going to add two tablespoons of water. I'm then going to take a spoon and combine everything, mixing it well, making sure there's not too many clumps, just because when you bite into your muffin, you don't want there to be a clump of powder. So when you finish mixing it, it should look like a cake battery kind of consistency. If you have some cupcake liners, go ahead and use those, but since I don't, I'm just going to be using some fat-free Pam. And I'm gonna give a good amount because I don't want this to stick at all. Okay? I'm going to divide this into two cupcake tins or two cupcake slots. And then I'm going to slide these in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, so my shake cakes are done and I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out of the oven. As you can see, they fluffed up pretty nicely. They look pretty pink on the inside. They're nice and like full and round. You get to eat both of these for your fueling. So that's like two cupcakes, y'all. That's pretty awesome. If you wanna do an icing on top, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, I'll add peanut butter, even if it's strawberry, because I'm a peanut butter-aholic. I just add like half a tablespoon, so like a fourth of a tablespoon for each um, cupcake. But you can also do cream cheese with a little bit of stevia mixed into it, okay? So one tablespoon is, equals a condiment. So if you ate it that way, it would be one fueling plus one condiment. So this next fueling hack is personally one of my favorites. If you've been watching my vlog channel or you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I do this one all the time. Personally, my favorite fuelings are the brownie and the chocolate chip cookie, and I think that's kind of across the bar that everybody likes those. But sometimes you may not want to have a brownie and a chocolate chip cookie the exact same way every single day. I probably could, but it's nice to have a little bit of variety. So, I make mine sometimes into shakes, and not any kind of shake. I make them into these frothy, really creamy, almost like a Dairy Queen kind of smoothie or milkshake. If you don't know what Dairy Queen is, first of all, I'm sorry. Second of all, it's kind of like fast food, comfort food kind of thing. So I'm gonna take this brownie and I'm gonna pour it into my Nutribullet cup. Now this can be done with a chocolate chip cookie fueling. It can probably also be done with a blueberry muffin fueling as well. I'm then going to add one cup of water. You can also use almond milk, but I use almond milk in the morning for my cereal, so I try not to use another condiment. If I'm just using water, it won't count as a condiment. I'm then going to add a couple ice cubes. I'm really specific and I always use seven. I don't know why that is, but I do. Use as many as you'd like. 
And then lastly, I add one tablespoon of cream cheese to this cup and then blend it all together. Personally, I like to make sure that all of the powder has kind of sunk down and is not stuck to the top of the cup or the bottom of the cup, depending on how you look at it. You're going to want to pulse it a couple times and then just let it run. So this is what it turns out to. Super delicious and this counts as one fueling and one condiment. Another one that I see a lot of the time that clients are not loving, and I'll be honest, I was one of them, are the mashed potatoes. So they have the garlic ones, they also have the sour cream and chive. I'll be using the sour cream and chive. I'm going to make this into a grilled cheese. Now this is a great feeling hack to use like on a Saturday when things get a little hairy and cravings are starting to kick in, you may not be at work so you have that extra time to think about it. It happens to all of us, don't worry. This is a good one to use around lunchtime when you're wanting something really filling and something that would taste like a normal lunch you would eat before a program. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up these mashed potatoes the way the packet says. So just the packet and then half a cup of water. While I'm doing that, I have my waffle iron warming up. I'm going to give it a good stir. It's going to be a little runny and that's okay. Another thing I like to do whenever I'm making things in my waffle iron, even if it doesn't call for it, I like to add just a pinch of baking powder. Makes things fluff up a little bit better and um, they just come out a little nicer. So now my waffle iron is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and again spray it with my fat free pan. And then I'm going to try and pour this over all four triangles. It may not reach all four triangles, but that's okay. And then I'm going to let it sit there. Keep in mind this does take a long time to actually form into a waffle shape. About 10 minutes, so don't be worried if you check it a couple times and it's not ready. Give it its time. So now that my mashed potatoes have been made into a waffle, again about 10 minutes, I'm going to open this up. It does look a little thin, that's no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and try and pull up this top portion here, but be careful because I don't want you to burn your fingers. Get a little loose and then grab your laughing cow wedge of cheese. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half, but you can do it however you'd like. You can put it in the middle. I'm going to take one half of it and I'm going to put it on the top portion and the other half of it's going to go on the other side. Then you're simply going to fold over this grilled cheese. So then you're going to close your waffle maker for about another 30 seconds to melt that cheese and then also just make your grilled cheese a little more flat. So this lovely wonder is one fueling and one condiment. In fact, most of these fuelings tonight are one fueling and one condiment. So another one I hear all the time is the sweet blueberry biscuit. There's a way to fix that. So, oddly as it sounds, you can put a wedge of laughing cow cheese in this to make it kind of a blueberry cheesecake feel. Crazy, right? I know. So what you're going to do is, you're going to put just this packet into your ramekin. And then also add your three tablespoons of water. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up now. You may be saying, Mallory, this is all the same. Just wait. While I'm taking the time to do this, I do want to say that if you have any of your fuelings that you're not absolutely loving, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to either give you a recipe for something that would work or make a video specifically on that fueling. If I get enough of those, I'll try and make a whole other video with another five fuelings. Here comes the crazy part. You're going to grab a laughing cow wedge of cheese. I'm using the original, not the garlic and herb. Go ahead and unwrap it, obviously. And then with clean hands, you're going to break it into pieces and randomly drop it into your blueberry muffin mix. These pieces can be big, they can be small, it's up to you. You do not have to use all of it. However, I would still consider it a whole condiment. You're gonna wanna kinda give it another little stir to make sure you cover up your laughing cow wedges. Then pop it in the microwave for a minute and 15 seconds. So you'll see it doesn't really look all that different, but the minute you stick your fork in there, you're going to get an ooey gooey blueberry cheesecake muffin, which is going to be delicious. 
You'll notice I'm not biting into all of these. I'm making them and I'll use them for tomorrow. It's the end of the day, so I don't have any fuelings. I have one fueling left, and I'm gonna be drinking that shake that I just made with the brownie. So, I promise it's really good. So for our last fueling, I'm going to be making a chocolate chip waffle. So with your brownie and your chocolate chip and your blueberry biscuit, there's several things you can do with them. Just like I did with the grilled cheese, I'm gonna put it in a waffle maker and turn this into kind of a breakfast fueling. So I'm gonna first start by taking my chocolate chip cookie fueling and pouring it into a bowl. I'm then going to add a pinch of baking powder, two tablespoons of egg beaters or egg whites, and then two tablespoons of water. Give it a good stir and also know that you may have to add a little bit extra water. You want it to be slightly runny, but not completely soup consistency. I've got a hot griddle. Again, I'm gonna spray it to make sure that nothing sticks. This typically only makes half of a waffle. Go ahead and pour it in. And go ahead and close it up. Typically this is gonna take a minute and a half to two minutes to make a waffle. So you open it up after about two minutes and as you can see, you have a beautiful waffle. You're gonna go ahead and move it over to your plate. It's not gonna be the consistency of a waffle, but believe me, it tastes just the same. The really awesome thing about having a waffle is you can have not one, but two tablespoons of sugar-free syrup on your waffle. I like to put mine on my side though. If you're feeling really crazy and you have the condiments left over or the healthy fat or the snack, you can add some peanut butter on top too. So here are our five creations, our chocolate chip cookie waffle, our brownie milkshake or brownie dairy queen treat as I like to call it, our strawberry shake cakes, remember you can put some icing on top with some cream cheese, one condiment if you do that. Our blueberry cream cheese muffin. And then of course our smashed potatoes grilled cheese. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today and like I said before, if you have any questions about the fuelings or you have some fuelings that you'd like to see a meal makeover on, please put those down in the comments and I'd love to check it out. Also, if you are on this channel because you are thinking about Optivia or even slightly interested, I'm going to drop my email down below. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to get to know you and talk about your health journey with you. But I think that's all. I'm going to go have my last fueling of the day. I love you all and God bless ya.